boy! I can't believe you're here! It's so great to see you! Meet Victor, my former best friend. His family runs a huge fashion label, so I should have known that he'd be here on the student council here. That he'd be on the student council here, but I didn't want to believe it until now. It really killed him that he didn't get to wait for you out front, you know. He's that desperate. No, he didn't appreciate that. And I don't appreciate his purple ass hair. Dude, this guy's really into purple. Purple hair, purple eyebrows, purple mascara, green eyes. Uh, his green eyes matches his weird green shirt. This guy's kind of a mess. Anyway, it's so great to see you. I tried to reach out to you last December with my condolences, but you didn't respond. I was a little worried. It's been a long December and there's reason to believe maybe this guy's purple hair is kind of weird. I'll spare you the backstory, but let's just say Victor doesn't know when to quit. Some personal space, please. You know what? Victor may not know when to quit. It's probably a good idea that we don't try and spurn his advances or, or give him any kind of false hope, but we're gonna, we're gonna try politeness and hope that in the months that it's been since our father's tragic death, that he's gonna respect us and leave us alone. So we're gonna say hello. I'm not gonna say I'm happy to see him after all these years. Oh, and it's been years, so maybe, maybe he'll get it. But I guess I don't hate it either. He hasn't changed much though, that's for sure. It really has. Boy and Victor. <laughs> Reunited at last. Can you believe that? I sure can't. I see you're already familiar with our secretary, Mr. Winterbone. You must also meet Mr. Rajendran, our treasurer. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> so I'm not one to trash anybody's look. <laughs> but, um, this guy looks like Botan from Yu Yu Hakusho if he was a potato, if she was a potato. <laughs> Poor Ellis. I might as well just do the Botan voice, cause she looks like Botan. Or he, sorry. I'm just, it, it, at this point, it goes from, it was originally Reaver, now it's Bo to Botan, and I guess... Now it's just back to Reva. Hello, you can just call me Ellis. <laughs> I hope he doesn't care. I hope you enjoy your time here at our school. Oh, um, that makes sense, I think. I've never really felt that way. Sorry, I asked. I guess I was just curious. Um, now that you're one of us, though, I hope we can get to know each other better. I, I just think you're an interesting person. I is that strange? Uh... I mean, we've known each other for a day. A little. A compliment is a compliment, I suppose. And I am quite vain. By the way, um, are you going to attend the auction tomorrow night? I don't think you'll have to participate, so don't worry. You can just watch. What if I want to participate? I want people to spend money on me. That's the Valentine's thing they were talking about yesterday, right? If my attendance isn't required, then probably not. I might stop by, I've got better things to do. You know what, we don't want to alienate ourselves, because again, the whole point of this is we're trying to find our father's murderer, and being at, like, a public setting, we might be able to find out some information. So I might stop by. I'm trying to at least sound interested. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Was Is it his auction? Like, what is he going to care? He's the treasurer. He's, he's going to want this thing to be done cheap. He wants the school to make its money. I'm glad to hear that. I just thought it might be nice to see you there in the crowd. It's a little nerve-wracking, standing in front of everyone like that. I guess he must be one of the auctioneers. What are they auctioning off, anyway? Anyway, um, we should probably get back to work. He sits back to stretch, causing every interesting sound to come out of his mouth? Oh, a very interesting sound. Urgh. <laughs> and the floppy collar on his sweater just fell down a bit to reveal... Uh-oh, we're about to get a reveal. A long, messy scar running right across his neck. 
I think I'm just going to mind my own business on that one. He's got a scar. Those aren't uncommon. I've got scars. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, I guess it's kind of odd that it's on his neck, but they didn't show us. Is it like... Oh, boy. I shudder to think. Um, you need to go to the student council room now, right? I can walk you there. I don't trust that someone like Ellis knows where he's going, but neither do I. So maybe two wrongs will make a right. Miss Mailberg, Mr. Rajendran... I trust you've spent an enjoyable study hall together. Ah, I did not expect to see him there. How long have you been standing there? How did you know where I have class? Mm, both of these, we are both sounded pretty suspicious of this guy. I really don't have any reason to suspect him of anything yet. Right now, he's just a weird looking guy with pink eyes. So we're just going to ask him, what's the least rude? How did you know? I think it's... I think it's more... It's less of an obtrusive question to ask him this. Access to all student schedules is yet another council privilege to which you will now be privy. That's great, because it'll help us with murder solving, but also, um, what school would allow anyone to have that? Because that is just a way for creepy people to be creepy. Why am I not surprised? Um, so... I will be showing Miss Mailbird to the council room, yes? Your services will not be required. Then, um, I'll see you tomorrow, boy. Shouldn't he be coming with us, too, since he's the treasurer? They have an auction going on tomorrow. He'll need to count the money. Follow me, if you please, Miss Mailberg. He starts walking away in a businesslike manner. Behind us, Ellis grows smaller and smaller. I can see him waving goodbye, not going anywhere as we walk away. Welcome back to the Mailberg Academy Student Council offices, Miss Mailberg. What is it with this guy's aversion to using people's first names? He's like a doll with a pull string on his back. Oh yeah, my favorite dolls are the ones where you pull the string and they don't say anything like, Quit pulling my strings! And they say stuff like, well, welcome to this room. As it turns out, Miss Mailberg, you have transferred in at quite the convenient time. Our annual Valentine's Day auction is tomorrow, and your assistance in any last-minute preparations will certainly not go unappreciated. As such, your role today will be to manually activate all of our bidding devices. Although many modern auction houses still retain traditional bidding systems, we here at Mailberg Academy are embracing the 21st century this year with machines. Provided courtesy of Evco, a caterpillar always becomes a butterfly? There's a company that manufactures auction bidding machines? Made specifically to lend out to a high school? Wow, it's been years since I've heard that slogan. There's a blast from a past. Oh, right. The Everett Corporation, or Evco, for short, is slash was a very prominent local tech company. I'm quite surprised to hear that it's still around after, uh, what happened a while back. Oh, good. More mystery. These devices must all be scanned against each student ID barcode. Once activated, they will be receptive to the user's fingerprint, heart rate, line of credit, and much... Heart rate? <laughs> heart rate? Why? So that the, the people who are being auctioned off can take a look and be like, Oh, this, this guy is auctioning on me and his heart rate is increasing really fast. Nope, 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 nope. We have all that information on file? Why am I even asking? Of course we do. Of course we have heart rate and credit information on 17-year-olds. Jesus Christ. I suppose I ought now to explain the exact details of the auction. I'm sure this is going to be wonderful. Each year, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, the Student Council holds an auction in which the items that students bid upon are a date with each member. See? They are auctioning people off. That's exactly what you want a group of high schoolers to be doing. That makes sense. Oh, so they're basically selling the emotional labor of pretending to be interested in someone for a night. That sounds mildly sketchy. <laughs> no, that's majorly sketchy. 
No school would ever do this to its student populace. You may rest assured, Miss Mailberg, that you have arrived at too late a time to be included as an item in the auction. Only us boys can be auctioned, girl. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm not. I'd want to be, I'd want to see who would want to buy me because who would ever want to buy Boy Mailberg would probably be her father's killer. Like, I gotta get rid of Boy, too. Boy Mailberg is not a great in investigator. It may sound frivolous, but I assure you that the Valentine's Day auction is a cherished annual fundraiser. It sounds more than frivolous. This school has absolutely zero need of any fundraiser. I've seen how many figures its endowment is. The entire affair has grown into quite the production. It has reached the point where the exact location and activities of our dates have become carefully guarded secrets revealed only at the auction itself. So where will your date be held? What cut is Evco getting as a sponsor? You know what? We'll leave the treasury stuff to Ellis because that's more his motive. That's more his expertise. We're just here to solve a murder, so I want to know what Crispin's going to be up to. I have access to deck classified information now, don't I? As I said, it is a carefully guarded secret, even to fellow student council members. Ah, you knew I was going to ask. I have placed a set of laminated instructions and a class roster at the front desk. Please do not be afraid to ask any further questions. May you have any? In the meantime, I will remain here at your disposal as I complete my own work on the office computer. Great. There goes my chance to find any intel. He can see every little thing I do as he sits there. Ugh. I guess I'd better get started then. He did laminate the instructions for me, after all. You know, they didn't give me an official student council title. But if they did, I suspect I it'd be the intern. Like, seriously? They recruited me just for this? The process looks fairly simple, though. I just have to scan the barcode on each student's profile with each machine. How bad can it be? Really bad, as it turns out. This is so boring. You should be glad you aren't the one stuck doing this right now. It's good to know that the character I'm playing as is bored. Though Crispin looks like he's absorbed in his work, I can see his eyes flick over to me periodically. Which is creepy, because he looks like an Esper from Pokemon with that face. Their color is almost kind of familiar. It's this very specific shade of pink. Like, like a, the color of blood in a certain video game series, of which he looks strikingly like one of the characters in. Like, this is a weirdly specific example, but this time when I was a kid... What? Is that his phone going off? Hello? Why, yes, I have. He's going to answer just like that while I'm still here in the room? <sighs> Rude. Yes, it did seem a bit odd to me. Of course I will, since you find it necessary. Goodbye. He ended the call, and I now have to try and look like I wasn't just eavesdropping. My apologies, Miss Mailberg, but I must step out for a moment. Yes, time to crack open some files! Worry not, however. I will be sending for someone else to keep you company while I'm gone. Yo, he knows, man. He knows. No! That's the opposite of what I wanted. If I do not return within the hour, please leave it to him to shut down the computer and lock all the doors. Until we meet again, Miss Mailberg. Okay, quick. I've got this tiny unsupervised gap right now to snoop as much as I can. Whatever Crispin had open on the computer is probably my best shot. It looks like he was in the middle of checking email on his personal account. Interestingly enough, here's what the most recently received one says. Oh, I thought I was going to get a choice of what to look at. Like, I can only choose to look at one thing, and I guess not. Dearest Crispin, remember, it is very important that you meet with Boy tomorrow. She's waited long enough to learn the truth about her father. Love, Stacy. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. Namely... The fact that Crispin is getting emails regarding some kind of truth about my father. I'd say that's, uh, more than somewhat suspicious. And who's this Stacy? She seems very affectionate. A friend, maybe? Mother, sister, girlfriend? Taunting nemesis? An acquaintance? Casual acquaintance, possibly? 
I may not know him very well, but I can't imagine Crispin having any of those relationships with anybody. Yeah, it's, it's the people who talk the most formally who, you know, they can't have relationships. But what's important is that this is what I've been searching for. Information. Ugh, no, that's the door. Someone here already? Right at the worst time possible? I close the email and try to run to my desk at the speed of light, but I'm already too late. Hey. Oh, it's ducks. No big deal, then. But I must look so suspicious just standing here. Quick, we need to change the subject. Hey there, lover boy. Or so do we want to go with the most obviously fake... The most obviously fake answer? Or do we want to start getting this Otome part of this game going right away? Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to go with Loverboy. Oh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Who are you to judge? <laughs> Loverboy? Usually I'm the one who says that. You usually say Loverboy? Anyways, I'm here to, like, keep an eye on you or something. To know why he made me do it. Jeez. He leans on my desk, looking very sensually lost in thought. I'm just going to keep scanning with hopes that maybe he'll just get bored and leave. I also like that Nasty Boy is written in, like, script. <laughs> in a flowery script. Nothing says nasty boy like monotype Corsiva. <laughs> you getting stuff ready for the auction? Man, it's gonna be killer. He said killer! He did it! Maybe it'll even top last year's. Was last year filled with murder? I think he wants me to ask what happened last year, but I won't. <laughs> oh, God. You wanna know what happened last year? No. I think I'm good. So me and my date, this like really nerdy but cute kid I had bio with, we bribed a security guard to drive us out of town and then we got train tickets to New York for the weekend. What a crime. I thought the dates only lasted one night. That doesn't sound very allowed. Well, that does sound allowed because these people are all like really rich kind of preppy people so they could probably do whatever they want. I'd be more concerned about the amount of time. Yeah, they do. So that's why we bribed the guard. Now, again, I know this is a high school setting, and, you know, there there's people of all different orientations and, and the sort for, uh... In, in a high school setting, and clearly the four, the four uh, student council boys fit that. But... The one thing that kind of interests me is why would they have an auction where you can go on dates with any of these four boys? It, it, it kind of brings back what I said earlier. Why is it that it takes until February of to get a female council member? I mean, I, I feel like there should maybe be a more, if you are going to auction children off to other children to have dates with. Perhaps it would be more prudent to have a wider variety of students to pick from. I mean, unless, I mean, unless it is, unless that's just a student body. I mean, I've only met five members of the student body. So, I mean, maybe it's a school full of all females who are into uh, heterosexual boys and homosexual boys. Who knows? Maybe that's just how this. Maybe that's just how this populace is, is made up. Uh, I suppose we'll find out. <clears throat> so he committed bribery already. Already he's committing some crimes. Makes me trust ducks a little bit less. The school wasn't too happy when they found out. Anyway, yeah. So I'm the reason why students can't buy train tickets now. Also, I'm why they check ID before you can leave campus by car. And why they stopped doing boat rides across the lake. Uh, so he's setting up one of those closed door dilemmas, huh? It's like nobody can, you can't, you can't get away. And it's my fault. Wow, just how many times has this guy tried to run away from school? I'm kind of a legend. <laughs> 
You know how legends are developed when the legendary person in question keeps telling everybody that he's a legend. But this year, I'm going straight. (laughs) Not straight as in, like, hetero, but as in I won't try to run away. It'll be a legit date. Okay, so there's a confirmation. He is a gay boy. Good for him. Glad he's out front with it. (laughs) I'm glad he clarified. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know. And if you buy me at the auction tomorrow night, you could find out what I had in mind. Oh. Some people do go both ways. I probably could. But do I want to? No. That's kind of rude. He's practically laying belly up on my desk now and knocked my class roster onto the ground. Thanks a lot. Why is he laying on the desk? Was he a dog? Oh, sorry. Let me get that for you. He's bending over rather provocatively, giving me a full view of just how well he fills out those sweatpants. (laughs) Nothing says attractive like a pair of dirty sweats. He's definitely doing this on purpose. It doesn't take that long to pick up a packet of paper. (laughs) There you go. Looks like you only got 269 more students to scan. Nice. Is he saying nice because that ends in 69? What? He's exaggerating, right? I guess I won't be leaving anytime soon. How much money they... I mean, they're gonna have... They're gonna have almost 300 people bid on four people? Only four people get a one-night date with these eligible bachelors? Guess I won't be leaving anytime soon. I just keep scanning as Duck spins around in his chair and describes in detail every time he's ever tried to leave campus, or something like that. I'm not really listening. There's so much I could be learning right now. Why did it have to be ducks who came in? At least Victor would be quiet if I asked him to shut up. It's kind of rude, though. I